Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at how to create wet look lashes. Here's a list of everything you'll need to create this look. Take a screenshot and add it to your basket at the end of the video. To begin your pre-treatment, we're going to go in with foam cleanser just to cleanse the eyelid area and the lashes of any makeup residue. Make sure all of that foam is rinsed away thoroughly as we don't want any residue to interrupt our glue bonds. Next we'll use our cleanser and protein remover pads to give a nice deep clean to the lash line and the eyelid area just to help the eye patches stay in place. This time we've opted for foam tape. So foam tape's really great because you can completely customise it to the shape of your client's eyes and it also helps if your client has trouble closing their eyes during the treatment as it's a little bit thicker than your average eye patch it just helps to prevent those glue fumes from going inside. Secure it with tape as normal and then go in with cleanser. Cleanser is alcohol based so it really breaks through all of the oils, makeup residue, dust and dirt that might just be left over on the lashes and then primer re-adds moisture to the lashes after the use of cleanser which can be a little bit drying. Use longer microfiber brushes just to get through this a little bit faster. Then we're going to draw on our lash map, this time going for a squirrel in 6 to 12 millimetres. Now with a wet look we are using primarily closed fans so we're just taking the lashes that we want but we're not going to fan them out. Just dip into the glue getting a micro drop and then we'll apply a sort of lash skeleton as we work. This just helps to provide all of the lovely texture that we want from a wet look. So if your client has lots and lots of lashes, then just using closed fans is absolutely fine. But if you want to create a little bit more fluff, then partially fan those fans. We're using 0.07, so it's exactly like a regular volume fan. The only difference is that they're either very, very narrow or they're closed. In this instance, we've mixed completely closed fans and slightly opened fans just to create lots and lots of texture, but also a little bit of fluff. Just keep applying those fans until you have covered everything, and then go through lash by lash and layer by layer and make sure you've got no stickies and none of those lashes are stuck to your tape. Just to finish your set off, take some super bonder and apply it to the glue bonds. This instantly cures the glue whilst keeping the bond flexible, which increases your retention time, keeping those lashes looking flawless for even longer. And you are done. Make sure you take lots of photos for your social media so that you can pass on what amazing skills you have to potential new clients who are looking for that gorgeous textured look. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Bye.